یہ میری لائف کا پہلی دفعہ تھا کہ میں نے اس لیول پہ برداشت کیا جب میں نے تھوڑی سی فیل کیے کہ مجھے اب نکلنا چاہیے میں سیدھا بیگ لے کے کھڑا گیا اور الحمدللہ کہ میں بالکل تندرست وقت گزار رہا ہوں اور مجھے اندازہ ہے کہ میرے جسم میں الحمدللہ ایک بہتر چینج آ رہی ہے جو نیچرل چینج ہے اور اس میں کوئی میڈیسن کا کوئی نہ کمال ہے نہ کرتب ہے جہاں میں بیٹھا ہوں جہاں مجھے آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں یہ ایک نیچرل دوا ہے جو جسم کے اندر چینج لے کے آتی ہے فور ایور اچھا رب نواز اس میں نا آپ نے زور سے سانس نمبر ون از دی آئونائزیشن آف سالٹ سوڈیم آئنس اینڈ کلورائڈ آئنس دس انوائرمنٹ آر دا ایئر از فلی سیچوریٹیڈ ود دیز آئنس نیچرلی چلے جی ڈاکٹر صاحب آ جائیں when patient breathes in this climate he naturally develops resistance against the allergic asthma <laughs> It's a natural antiseptic, and that's why it's important that we have it on the floor and on the walls as well, plus in the air. So the air um, during the session, during the salt therapy session, is hypoallergenic, hypobacterial. Um, but salt also has natural anti-inflammatory property, which means it can reduce inflammation in a natural way. So let's say someone is suffering from asthma, it can reduce the inflammation in the airways of the person. There isn't very much evidence, um, but there is some evidence on a very small number of children that it actually made the lungs less responsive, which means when those subjects come into contact with things that trigger their asthma, they're less likely to cause the asthma response. The, the problem is with the studies is that they, they're not done over a long period of time, so although they may have shown a very short immediate response. We don't know how long that effect is sustained for, which can mean that people would need to keep going to the salt mines or the salt cave for regular, regular treatment, which would be incredibly expensive to somebody. The salt is inhaled either through the nose, the, all the nasal passages where the linings of the nose are, down into the airways, down into all the lungs, all the small passages in the airways, and we think it's supposed to help dampen down the inflammatory response 
we want it to be on a background of really good evidence-based treatments and what we wouldn't want is for people to stop taking their normal asthma treatments. So if somebody wanted to try it as a, an add-on therapy or a complementary therapy, then that's entirely up to them, but we wouldn't want them to stop taking their regular preventer treatments, which are really are the cornerstone of asthma management.